Hi, my, my name is Sufjan Stevens, and we're at Make Skateboards at I-20 Gallery in Chelsea. Uh, hi, I'm Scott Ogden, and uh, along with Jonathan Lovall, we put this show together for the summer. It's uh, a temporary pop-up skateboard shop. It's a group exhibition, and um, I guess it started, I grew up skateboarding, and I've always been just interested in the art. And I remember being a little kid and seeing graphics on a skateboard, and uh, it's always been a fantasy to have other artists I know or would dream to work with doing skateboards. So that's sort of what we've done here. And today we have Sufi on here to talk about Royal Robertson and yeah. I'm, of Odds and Prospect Park. I'm here because uh, the gallery includes a lot of Royal Robertson's artwork and I'm a huge fan of his. <laughs> we've been friends for a while and you'd seen Royal's work at my house a long time ago, I believe. Yeah. And I've been in the process of a film called Make for like, off and on for 10 years and I guess one of the artists is uh, Prophet Royal Robertson. And at a certain point, we got to editing and music, and I approached you to pop, you know, write a few tunes, some instrumental tracks, and I think through that process, you started getting introduced to Royal a little bit more. Yeah, I remember I came over when I was going to write these songs. I came over to your house to, to look at some of Royal's yeah. work, and you had like a lot of Royal. His whole wall, all of his walls. Royal Robertson was a self-taught artist, folk artist from Baldwin, Louisiana, and he was a sign painter and uh, a prophet, self-proclaimed prophet, and he had sort of psychic powers and visions and had uh, dreams of the future, and so he's a very mystical man, and he um, created paintings and drawings and sculptures uh, based on a lot of his visions that he had from dreams and visitations from angels and spaceships too. He was really obsessed with uh, outer space and UFOs and astrology. I think I was, I was really drawn to Royal's work because of its unashamed brutality. And it's, it's, it was extremely graphic and but also full of life and full of love and full of uh, pleasure. He seemed really in tune with like the pleasures of the body and the imagination um, and he didn't seem uh, bound by any kind of um, uh, what do you, ideology. You know he was gathering up stuff from his dreams and from the Bible and from uh, um, like weird like National Enquirer and numerology and New Age and even like bits of like uh, Nordic mythology and pornography, you know, some of his stuff is, is really graphic, you know. But it, it was also, um, there was some, some kind of simple beauty, naivete to his work that I loved. The show is, um, like Royal's work, it's very, um, it's full on, it's full of many different uh, influences and styles and uh, it's kind of like a, a big sort of multimedia dance pop pageant. We also dress up kind of like, like um, kind of outer space, or what do you call them, like cosmic um, entertainers, you know, from another planet. So there's a lot of, we use marathon blankets, blankets which are those like silvery um, fabric, and then there's lots of neon and gaff tape, and it's kind of, uh, almost like Star Trek, but really junky as well. So a little bit of Sun Ra is in there. And um, yeah, and so we, we kind of are kind of inspired by a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm excited to play because uh, this is a homecoming for us because we've been touring for a while. This, and this show has been a lot of fun and we've been all over the world. And it's exciting to come back and play in my own backyard and I'm excited to bike to the show. And Celebrate Brooklyn has uh, special uh, parking areas for cyclists. So if you want to bike to the show, bring a bike. You're welcome. <laughs> well, Brooklyn's been my home for the last 10 years. And I love it because um, it's so mysterious and so vast and um, inexplicable. 
you know, and I've moved all over the place. I lived in Bushwick and in Williamsburg and Greenpoint. Um, I lived in Park Slope and South Slope, uh, near Greenwood Cemetery, Kensington. I'm just name dropping at this point. But, <laughs> but that's what I love about Brooklyn is uh, that it's, um, it's sort of, um, I, what I love about Brooklyn is that you, you can't really reduce it to any one thing. It's everything for everyone. And it's the greatest borough in New York City. So th these shows are going to be our, sort of our grand finale homecoming pageant. And to celebrate that, we've, um, we're, going, we're bringing in more dancers. And so there's going to be twice as many dancers and lots more choreography. In fact, this whole week, we've decided to spend less time <clears throat> practicing music and more time rehearsing our dance moves. So that's been fun. So I've, I've spent a lot more time this week in the dance studio than in the rehearsal studio. <laughs>